While we're in Internet Explorer, we wanted to show you a couple of other things. Now, if you go into the settings button at the top where it says tools, mm -hmm. right, and click on that, and we'll go into safety for a second. Okay. So now, if I wanted to go to uh, in private browsing, okay, now in private browsing, what it does basically is if you have, let's say, a computer which is used by the whole family, and you don't necessarily want the rest of the family to see websites you've been to, or if you have children and you find that it might be inappropriate for them to go looking in your browsing history, then if you use in private browsing, which is what you see right here, what it will do is it set, and as it says right here, it says that it won't store the data which includes cookies, temporary internet files and history, um, and it won't track that and put it into your, into your browsing history at all. And so then in that way, when you close the browser from whatever site you've seen, it won't have any record that you've been there, which is really, really good. I mean, and it's especially helpful if you want to sort of minimize the spam, because as you know, advertising is based on your browsing history. So if you want to minimize that spam, then you just turn on in private browsing. It's a feature of Windows Explorer and it will stop that from happening. Yeah, the two main ways that I guess web browsing is now tracked for advertising is cookies, which are a small little placeholder, they call them tracking cookies, it lets you know where you've been and your IP address. Cool. So this won't help your IP, but it'll certainly help with the cookies. Excellent. So we hope that you found that useful.